Thank you very much, Brother uh, Justice Khanna, a very dear personal friend, Sanjeev, as I call him, and we are together. She just took in their designate. Last evening, when my registrar judicial uh, asked me what time the ceremonial bench should be uh, listed for, uh, he said, Sir, we'll list it at two o'clock. How many matters do you want to do? And I said, I'll do as many as we can. We should at least have 50 cases for the morning because we shouldn't be wasting any, any moment of the great opportunity which we have in this court to do justice. And why would I want to lose even the last day of my tenure as a judge here uh, to be able to be of service to our citizens? But then we decided to fix it at 2 o'clock. In the night, I was a little worried because I said it's a Friday afternoon. And for all I know, and from my experience of this court, by 2 o'clock, the court would be completely empty. And I'd be probably looking at myself on that big screen. But really, I'm humbled by all or the presence of all of you, distinguished senior members of the bar, the law officers, the attorney general, the solicitor general, such uh, distinguished seniors who have come here, uh, former judges of the high court, members of the bar among the women, including the seniors, so many juniors who have uh, walked the talk in my court. I don't think I have to say much because in Marathi, as they say, I would have definitely put on a couple of kilograms of weight by all that you have said. If I were to come back to the court tomorrow, I would sure be a puffed up face and a puffed up nose and I'd be, I wouldn't be thinking a great deal about myself. Now, even if I do, it doesn't matter because I'm not going to be delivering justice tomorrow. Uh, but honestly, it's been a great Great honor to be sitting in this court. Uh, when I was young, I would come and sit at the end of the, the last row in this court, watch the greats of the bar argue, and learn so much about how to argue, how to behave in court, court craft, how to acquire substantive knowledge of the law. And then, of course, these two great portraits. There was no, not a day in my life as a Chief Justice, and even before that, when I sat with Chief Justices in this court, and I didn't quickly glance at the two portraits in this court, just as we did in Mumbai when we glanced at the portrait of Chief Justice uh, Nisi Chagla, uh, because that was the Chagla court, and we felt that there was this overpowering presence. But the overpowering presence of the two greats of this court was in that sense a great, uh, a great uh, sober, uh, a sobering reflection for all of us that there are limits which you cannot transcend, and the one cause in which we are involved in this court is the cause of ultimate justice to the citizens. We are here as pilgrims, and, you know, birds of passage. We come for a short while and then we leave. But the work which we do can either make or mar the institution. Uh, of course, none of us is that important that you know you feel that well, uh, the court is not going to survive without me. Because there have been great judges who have come here in the past. They've passed on the baton to succeeding generations. And that's something which sustains the institution of different people with diverse viewpoints coming into the court and passing the baton along. So I'm sure that uh, you know, my leaving uh, in another two minutes from here is not going to make the slightest difference to the court. And particularly because I know the person who is going to lead this court after me is somebody who is so stable so solid and so committed to the cause of justice as uh, Justice Sanjeev Khanna. So I leave the court with that sense of, uh, uh, a sense of happiness that, you know, the person who's going to come and sit here from Monday is a person who is so, uh, so dignified, so aware of the position of the court in the wider social and political life, the historical perspective of this court. I spent the last two years uh, sitting in this court with uh, Brother Justice Pardiwala and Brother Justice Manoj Mishra. Three of us are in so many ways so similar, but in so many ways we bring to each other's lives that element of diversity because we had such wonderful uh, times together on the bench, uh, cutting jokes, talking the talk, uh, working very, very seriously on some matters. Uh, even the smallest matters, where we had a video conferencing uh, exchange with 
someone in our chambers, it would be always serious talk on what was best in the interest of that particular family or that person who was before us. But overall, I think uh, just being in this court, right from you know the Noida courts, as we call them among the members of the bench, down to the first five courts and now the Chief Justice's court, has been an enormously, enormously sustaining and enriching thing. You ask me, you know, what keeps me going? It's this court which has kept me going. Because there's not a single day when you feel that you have not learned something, that you have not had an opportunity to serve uh, society. And there's no greater feeling for a judge than to be able to serve those in need and uh, people you would never meet, people you possibly don't even know of people whose lives you have the ability to touch without ever having seen them. But that's the great joy and charm of uh, judgeship which I've followed over the last 24 years, through the ups and downs, and then to imagine that I'd actually walked to the Chief Justice in 1999, early 2000, and said, can you please relieve me of this obligation of becoming a judge? And Chief Justice Sabarwal told me, wait for a week. And uh, that week changed my life. So I'll conclude by thanking all of you each one of you, believe me, each one of you has taught me so much that I didn't know about law and more importantly, what I didn't know about life. Because in all that all of you said to me in the court, I learned so much about life. I learned so much about life today. I mean, those 45 matters which we did. There's no case which is similar to an earlier case. So in every case that you decide here, you learn so much about what's happening in society, what's happening across the nation, and the importance of the position of this court to sustain the faith of common citizens in the work which we do. If I have ever hurt any one of you here in the court, sometimes even I can get irritable. Alpana tells me that all the time. Only she can put up with someone like me. But, but if I've ever hurt any one of you, I would like to uh, just say, please forgive me for. Uh, something which I didn't intend to ever uh, say or do, which may have uh, hurt you. And thank you very much for coming in such large numbers. I know at the end of it all, it's been really worth it for me every moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.